enjoying the entrepreneurial video I did with Lyrica and Sammy. Currently, I am at Lyrica's house and we have Shampizzle. And, uh, ooh, excuse me, I just had Popeyes. But uh, they're gonna film a video and for Larry's channel, so we're not filming any content today. But um, yeah, they're gonna film a video and I'm just here to just chill and Drink champagne. <laughs> Where'd you get these glasses from, Larry? Right, home goods. Home goods. Home goods. Mm, you know how good um, different Dollar Trees have really good glasses. Yeah, they know so. they really do. Dollar yeah. Trees, I'm, I'm finding out in the blood. They really do. But yeah, y'all be. Uh, I don't know what I was gonna say. Safe. No, y'all be. I don't know. Y'all be something. But go subscribe. What? Something. With <laughs> Larry. It was something with Larry and subscribing. <laughs> so. Y'all see she professional. She got her whole little kit right there. And everything. Right, lashes coming soon. Lashes oh, yeah, lashes. Bro, I don't know. Lashes by Larry coming soon. Oh, let me get the camera because they bought the thing. Oh, no, you can. But, um, yeah, can I swing your bed? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. You got to drink it. The topic for this conversation is gender roles. Uh, gender roles uh, in in consideration to what do you identify as what is the difference between gender and sex and just all the pronouns that come with it and uh, so I brought my favorite two squad members along my only squad members <laughs> We're not her only squad members. My like only that. squad members. The local ones. You know. <laughs> Jay Soul Vibes with Soul and Sammy Social TV. Make sure you guys follow them. Make sure that you guys subscribe to their channels down below. Yes. Um, they are both doing Vlogmas. Are you doing Vlogmas? Yes. yes. Both Vlogmas doing Vlogmas. Jason, I'll yes. link their I'm channels. I'm say, when have you posted? Um, I'm doing Vlogmas adjacent, guys. You Period. <laughs> Um, I will make sure to link their channels uh, down below. Make sure that you guys go follow them and subscribe. Also, make sure that you guys go subscribe to all of their other handles. They do so much more content from uh, In the Middle Entertainment. So if you guys don't know who that is, where you at? Like, where you been? Like, so we're gonna get into this topic, and um, this video is honestly made in. It's this video is made with love. It's not meant to to offend anyone. It's not meant to sway anyone's judgment in any way this is just speaking out from our personal views and our personal experiences so um if you waited go get a drink and let's get to the video <laughs> just right off the bat i just want to say that i just want to give you guys the, the the difference between sex and gender because there it's a complete different definition mm -hmm. so sex is what you're born as i was born as a female jalen was born as a man sammy was born as a female that's sex Ooh, man. when it comes to gender it's what you identify as mm -hmm. so that's the difference between sex and gender just in case you know mm -hmm. every anyone out there is confused on what that means what that means it's not the same thing mm -hmm. um so the first question that we kind of want to get out there is do you feel like pronouns are necessary and what are yours? <laughs> Look at me. Uh, <laughs> I think pronouns are necessary, yes. Um, only because I know people to where pronouns are is such a big part of their identity, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. especially if they mm -hmm. identify um, as fluid or, or they're currently transitioning. Right. Um, so I was working on a on a set, on a set before mm. and everyone mm. had to say their pronouns because we had quite a few really? trans people and like I had messed up and called 
um, someone that she and they identify as a they and they were like they and I was like oh my god I'm so sorry <laughs> I, I just, and that was I think my first like introduction to it so I think it's very necessary Same. yeah um, because yeah. you can't offend people right um, and there's some people the gender and sex is very different they mm-hmm. may look like a woman or look like a man but they but identify, identify as the opposite exactly mm-hmm. so it's important just for other people's comfortability it doesn't matter what you call me um, right me. Um, but for other people yes to make others comfortable absolutely mm-hmm what about you guys? Yeah, same. It doesn't matter what you call me, honestly. Yeah. I'm a, okay. Let me disclaim that. Like, he, him, mm-hmm. they, mm-hmm. they, like, it don't really matter. Yeah. Like, as long as you don't disrespect me. Like, if you yeah. accidentally say she, some, some, but you, you know, because people mess up. Like, yeah. I be on the phone with my friends who are females, and they be like, girl, I was just, I was just like, I be on the phone that. with them when they do it. Yeah. But, and I've grown up around females, mm-hmm. and my best friends are females. Mm-hmm. Like, so it doesn't really offend me. Mm-hmm. But after too many times, I'm like, okay, get it together. Yeah, yeah. And it's say, not out of a uh, like disrespect. Or, it's just like, yeah. bro, come on yeah. now. Get no, it I I completely get that because I had a friend that you guys both know. I'll tell you after the video. But every <laughs> I time I'll be like, girl, uh-huh. like and this person is a stud, and oh, so okay, you know, was, every time I'll be like, oh, girl, let me tell you what happened. They would get so offended. Yeah. Like they're like, do they identify as a thing? no? They just identify. They sh- she identifies as she or her. But if I say girl, like they they feel like that's too feminine mm. for them. So I I kind of have to respect the fact that I can't be like that. Like not with my best friend Teddy. I can yeah. be like girl. Let me tell you yeah. what happened. Right. Like you know because he's cool with that. Yeah. Or and even he, saying like bitch. Like, right. Yeah. Exactly. You don't bother me. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. So I guess it. it oh. Yeah. The respect is. But I wonder. That's another question. But like, does it have to do with like the whole? It's a kind of another topic, like the whole toxic masculinity versus the hyper masculinity type mm. thing. Like I me, think so. Yeah. Doesn't really matter. I think so. I think <laughs> yes. But I have encountered somebody who wants to be known as they or them. <laughs> Sorry. And it was like actually one of an uh, artist that we work with, and I quickly corrected myself because I was wrong, right. and that's yeah. how they felt, and that's perfectly fine. Right, and it's like it's not, and, and I think we do correct ourselves because we don't want anyone to feel out of place mm-hmm. or 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 uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. So yeah. yeah, I think that pronouns are are very important because you want to definitely. Um, <laughs> call them what they identify as. I right. think it's very important. Absolutely. Um, have you dated or encountered anyone that came out as fluid or they slash them? Yes. Can you give the definition of fluid just for the people? I honestly... Oh, fluid, gender fluid? Can we look it up? Because I want to say it the right yeah, way. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, and I'll put a description down here so you guys can see what the definition is of gender gender fluid. Yeah, gender mm. fluid. Gender fluid, okay. Because yeah, honestly, I... All the LGBT overall. Right. Um, but it's denoting or relating to a person who does not identify themselves as, as having a fixed gender. So they don't they identify mostly as they. So it's mm. so they don't so they I don't identify gender. God. Yeah, so they don't uh, they don't identify as she or him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's usually a they, they and are, then often like their sexuality, they're not gay or lesbian, they're they're fluid. So got they're, it. Mm. So it's like is it like being do you consider it as being bisexual? Um mm-hmm. I would consider it when I've heard people say it in my mind I'm like, Oh, okay, so you're kind of like bisexual but we would have to have a fluid person on here to say yeah. that. But when I've True. heard it, it's kind of definitely just open. Just just open. Yeah, yeah, got it. Yeah. Okay. yeah, so if you're fluid, you're open. Okay. Because um, when I think of they and them, I think of multiple people. No, it's a pronoun. I know, but yeah. I'm just saying, when you say they or they're over there, mm-hmm. it's like it's multiple people. Mm-hmm. So it's just like when it comes to your sexuality, you're open. Yeah. That makes sense. Exactly. But yeah, so I have dated some, I actually have dated a few people that were fluid. One person that recently became they. So I was like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, it wasn't an issue. It was just like, huh, that's interesting. You're just having to make um, it the a adjustments. Point. And, yeah, make the adjustments yeah. to not refer to them in the wrong gender. Right. Because I right. did that a few times and I was like, oh, I apologize. And right. did they get really offended. Yeah, they do. Um, mm-hmm. I don't want to say they like they're others or something right. like they're opposite. Yeah. Um, but the person did get really offended. So that's why it's really important to respect it. Have yeah. you guys dealt with? Um, it kind of it just kind of all boils down to the person mm-hmm. I would say no yeah. I haven't dated anybody but I definitely have encountered mm-hmm. a lot of different people who are very very strict on their right. pronouns yeah. right yeah. right um I don't I haven't um encountered 
um, you know, anyone that is, that identifies as like gender fluid or or come out as they are. So the last question is, how do roles come into play in a relationship when it comes to gender stereotypes? So, uh, like, as in, like, okay, the stereotype is because I don't feel like it should be like this, but the stereotype is you know guys supposed to take out the trash and women are supposed to clean the house or wash mm -hmm. the dishes or do the laundry um i feel like that's a a life skill that you should know yeah period, whether yeah. you're a woman or a man Definitely. i feel like that's not a gender role because i feel like, like that's if you're a, a single life woman skill. you can wait for a man to come over here and take out the that trash? part like no, no. Yeah. yeah exactly so do you guys um mm. how do how do you guys feel like roles come into play but i will say this like in heterosexual relationships this is what i've heard this is what i've seen in life, but in jump twenty five, so I've seen her a lot. Mm. Um, not to be <laughs> like, like one hundred and ten or something. Mm. But like heterosexual relationships, the women cook, they clean, the men take out the trash. You know, men don't mm -hmm. clean the bathrooms. Like women do all the housework. Mm -hmm. the, the men to pay the bills, they bring the bacon home, and they like take out the trash and do all the handiwork around the house but like in gay relationships it all depends on what role you're playing so exactly. if you are uh penetrating or taking then that's <laughs> the role so basically male and female or either yeah. the masculine one or the more feminine I mean, yeah yeah because exactly. yeah. Yeah, in a lesbian relationship um you know it's you know the the more masculine one would be the one to take out the trash or because it's it's that stereotype yeah mm -hmm. it's like you're the stronger person so you do that exactly. and i'm the more feminine person so i'll do this mm -hmm. you know i really feel like um dang that's crazy how we're just conditioned to yeah, yeah. like because like, it doesn't crazy. have to be like yeah, yeah. no yeah. I, exactly really like i'm saying like i feel like that's a life skill like anything around the house is a is a life skill that you should know how to do whether you're a man Before or a female. Before you meet with somebody yeah. or depend on somebody to right. do it, no matter Absolutely. what sexual preference you are or who you are, mm -hmm. period. You should yeah. just know how to do those things. Yep. Yeah, no, right. I think you have the power, now present day, that it can change. Like, it doesn't mm -hmm. have to be... Absolutely, it can um, change. Yeah, the man Thanks. brings home... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that just went way over my head, y'all. Um... <laughs> I don't think that it needs to be the man or the more masculine yeah. one pays all the bills or anything like that. You definitely have the power in your own relationship to mm -hmm. change that. And all mm -hmm. It all depends on their relationship. Yeah, and I definitely want my relationship like 50-50. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, me too. I would prefer it that way, but then sometimes certain things I'm just like, I wasn't raised that way. Like, for, mm. like something simple like putting gas in my car. Like, there should never be a man in my oh, car. Oh, I never, Exactly, never, he would never let never, me pump my own gas. I mean, mm -hmm. even just being my friend. So I think yeah. it's some yeah. things that yeah. Yeah. I guess yeah. I'm just conditioned. Yeah. And that's, it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, there's simple things I'm like, well, why wouldn't you take out the trash yeah, for like, a man? But, matter of fact, I, my little cousin, we, mm -hmm. when I went to Vegas, mm -hmm. his mom got the car to pump, like, you know, oh, first of all, I'm the older cousin, so I'm not getting out the car if my little cousin in the car. And <laughs> he old enough to pump the gas. <laughs> yeah. So... He was like just sitting there on, on his phone, and I'm like, "You're not gonna." Pumpkin. And she just got out like, and I was just like, "Uh uh," and I yeah. made I made him get out the car yeah. because that's just like that's just, how that's I was raised. Yeah, and it's like this yeah. your mama. Like, right, right. My mom be like, "All right," and most times my mom be like, "She'll pay and I'll pump." Yeah. Period. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just like a simple thing that you have to create in your own relationship. Yeah, whether, I, yeah, I think it not. definitely d uh, differs in, you have to in relationships. Yeah, yeah. You have but to I've definitely it. dated someone where I didn't feel like the gender roles were working, and I was like, "We we won't work." Like mm. I felt like I needed, like I not not need somebody to take care of me, but like the pumping gas thing. I'm like, you can't pump my gas, right? Like, okay. That's okay. It's like you That's fall into okay. that like. <laughs> 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 Like, I can't. Not the, not if y'all know that reference, oh, comment down below. I just, oh, just got it. You're <laughs> late. I can't. Just got just it. Just got it. Woo. Um, but yeah, no, I, I think it's definitely something that the um, the two people in the relationship should discuss. Mm -hmm. um, before living before, together. Before living together mm -hmm. or even before getting together. Mm -hmm. I think that that's something that should be spoken like about. The first, the, yeah. the first three date type question. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. The first conversation. Like, Honestly. so what do you identify as? Like, yeah. you know? Because let me say this, and this is kind of off topic, but the older you get, the more le the less time you have to waste. So it's just like, Period. what's up? You trying to get married? You trying to have kids? Like, what you trying to do? Like, I don't have time to. Me like, as far. I don't have time to bullshit <laughs> around with you no, and right. be like, oh, what's your favorite color? Yeah. Oh, what's your have, favorite meal? I don't have to, get the fuck out of here. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> 
when you when you when 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 you order the food, I'm like, oh, you like chicken tenders, bad. Like, oh, off topic. Don't you guys hate when you guys go to like a nice restaurant and they order like basic shit, like nope. chicken, like tenders a burger nope. or a burger? Nope. We're at Morton Steakhouse. You would order a burger, bro, care. bro. I don't care. That one. I don't care what gender you are. I don't want to go. I don't want to go to Joe's Crab Shack and you order a burger. Like no. I'll oh, see. That's a problem. Some, you need to I order can't. some fish or yeah. some crab yeah. or some, thank or you. don't come. Yeah. Don't, don't no, do that's that. what she said. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Y'all. Yes. Thanks for tuning in to the Thanks for tuning in. We were just having a conversation, wanted to share yeah. and get some information. So if we are wrong in anything, please respectfully correct us in the comments. <laughs> please and please, no type of disrespect in the comments, but definitely yeah. I think it's a good open conversation. Just an open conversation, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, y'all. <laughs>